Hey everybody, I'm the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys. All right, this is going to be a collective read, guys. So take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, but we definitely about to get into this TT. All right, so you might want to stick around, go get your wine glasses, go get your, your beers. You know what, Sunday is chill day, but we finna get into it, all right? So, this is for all signs. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So, we're doing a collective message. Tell me what's going on currently and what's coming ahead. Ooh, okay. Mmm, flatlining. Flatlining, you know we're in a full moon in Pisces, so full moons are releasing things, letting go of things that no longer serve you. A situation has flatlined, okay? Something has ended, flatlined, that was some confirmation. Something has flatlined. We got a relationship, a situation is dying, conversation went dead, can't resurrect, lost interest. Okay, so something has definitely ended, Okay. So, ooh, okay, tell me more. All right, so this struggle is real. Okay, so <laughs> you got the struggle is real. All right, so the struggle is real. It's saying hitting a rough patch, frustrating situation, not easy, trying time, setback, annoyed. So somebody here could be coming out of a struggle. Okay, and someone here could be bossed up, is trying to glow up, you know what I'm saying, trying to get to that next level. All right, so let's see what else we got. Yeah, we got swerve to change direction abruptly, not interested, dodging someone or dismiss. Okay, so somebody here is surprised that someone swerved into another lane. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Tell me more. Somebody got a bay. Somebody got a bay. There is a lover, a couple. This is pertaining to uh, someone's love life. So it looks like something ended. Someone could be struggling, um, accepting this or taking this in. But somebody definitely has swerved into another lane and somebody has a bay over here, okay? And somebody's feeling like, you know what? I can't even deal with this. Somebody's throwing shade, okay? Somebody is going through, somebody is lonely or sad or depressed or emotional because the relationship is struggling or ending. And somebody could be missing somebody, all right? So tell me more. All right, we got yes. Yes, see, somebody over here sipping tea, okay? Careful who you listen to, listening to gossip news. So there's some gossip surrounding this situation. So this could be the tea. This is the gossip that somebody got um, into the situation and somebody's supposed to be struggling because this person done swerved in somebody else's lane. You got a little yes men over here that's like, yes, that's rooting this situation on, right? But somebody's over here in their feelings, okay? Somebody over here in their feelings, all right? So tell me more. We got Drake, and didn't I just say that? A relationship is ending. Someone misses someone. Emotional, lonely, sad, or depressed. Somebody is upset because they're being breadcrumbed. They got breadcrumbed, okay? And somebody bounced on them, okay? Somebody bounced. Somebody dipped. Somebody left and got them a new bay. They swerved in another lane and left somebody struggling, and now somebody's over here in their feelings because a situation has ended. Influencer. Having the power to influence. Marketing. Persona. Persuader. Somebody's trying to persuade someone to see their point of view here. We got POV, which is point of view. Somebody's gassing somebody to cancel. Okay, so look, you got staying here. All right, so somebody is watching this situation. Somebody's keeping an eye on this situation, trying to get someone, influencing someone's behavior. Somebody's influencing somebody's behavior over here, trying to get somebody to cancel someone out um, and see their point of view. We definitely got a stalker here. 
So someone is definitely watching this situation. I'm not sure if this is you in this energy or if this is someone someone that you're dealing with energy. But a situation is dead. A situation has ended. It it has it's it's a, it was a struggle. It's like the struggle is over. Like if you look at this situation in a more um positive light, this situation was struggling anyway. So it was time to make another move. But at the same time, somebody influenced this situation to end the way that it did. Somebody influenced somebody to see their point of view. Okay? You got somebody watching you. They were over here watching you. Watching your every move, studying you. Spiritually, some of y'all could have been, you know, talk about spirituality. You know, if you're on social media, they're seeing you, um, you know, talk about your your mental, your physical, your spiritual. They were definitely over here watching. Then you got somebody over here watching you do this while they over here basic as fuck. Basic. Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely got benched, okay? Somebody got sat out of the game. <laughs> somebody has potential, but somebody's not sure yet. Some It's a maybe, okay? Somebody went to go see if the grass was green on the other side. Somebody went to go see if the grass was greener. Somebody also here is trying to get their body... I'm trying to outdo, outshine someone with their pics, showing off their body, their physical, you know, attributes, okay? I did not tell you, digitally observing a love interest, keeping tabs, staying connected, stalking. There is a stalker energy here. Somebody's stalking. Somebody, whoever this influencer is, has been stalking. Has been stalking you. Somebody influenced this person to take another a different direction because the relationship was struggling. And they encouraged this person to it's somebody that they respect. Somebody that they look up to gave them the thumbs up to to, to do this. Like, yeah, you should just just do something else. This relationship ended, it really hit hard. It really hit hard for some for this person to, to bench you or you them. But I'm getting somebody's trying to glow up or show out, show off their physical attributes. But there is a stalker. There is a stalker. There is a stalker here. Somebody is stalking. But this person has a fear of missing out or feeling pressured to make a choice. Somebody felt pressured to make a choice. Somebody was pressured to make this decision. And somebody got put on blast. Once that decision was made, somebody got put on blast. Being publicly embarrassed, personal business exposed, exposing secrets called out. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's some tea. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I'm. Let's see what else I can get about this situation. I want to know who this stalker is. Like, there's two cards here that's indicating that somebody damn sure is watching, and somebody else is a third party who's playing a part in this. Who's Helping orchestrate this situation. Who is this influencer in this situation? All right. Yeah, we got main female. So it's definitely a female. This person is trying to keep you and this person apart. Okay. Family could have something to do with it. We got family room and the house. And we got a false person here. 
Okay, so family could play a part in this too. Like someone's mother, sister, brother. They could be a, a, an influence in this situation as well. But there is a female who is definitely trying to uh, keep you and your person apart from each other. Tell me more about um, the stalking energy. A child could be involved. Or someone acts or behaves like a child. Someone ex someone has some really high expectations. Somebody thought that expected for this situation to uh, to go a certain way, but somebody here is going. Somebody, oh, the male, the guy, your person, really ain't got ain't got. Ain't got nothing going on. They're in despair. They could be depressed. Somebody had higher expectations upon going into this situation with this new person. Tell me more about put on blast. Oh, the community jumped out. Everybody. Everybody heard about this situation or it was put out in front of a, a large group of people. Yeah, somebody had to choose the best path. Now we got great fortune and we got a pathway. So somebody made a decision based off of finances. Somebody made a decision based off of finances and they were judged. And they were judged because they found a privileged lady, someone who has some money, some coins, somebody that they can get up under and get what they want. Wow. Yes, with flatlining, we got poverty. So you and this person connection could have ended because somebody just... Just has a poor mindset. Um, there could have been financial issues. Like it's just, it was just a, a struggle, and it definitely needed a change. Okay, a change definitely needed to happen in this situation. Somebody could be giving somebody gifts and money. This person that they're dealing with could be giving them gifts and money. So this is why somebody here got benched because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. All right, so oh, I thought I had my tarot cards. I thought I had my tarot cards. I got to run, run in the back really quick to go grab those. And then we're going to see where this situation is going to go. Give me one sec. Okay, so I don't want to use these. I think I'm just going to use the Romance Angels and the Tarot. All right, so let's see what's going on between the two lovebirds and where it's going to Go. All right, so yeah, there's new love. Okay, so there is a new person, a new love that a new love interest or someone new in the picture. Okay. 
All right, so someone here could be married. We got wedding here at the bottom of the deck and then make the effort. So someone here could be trying to either get married, somebody wants to get married, or someone is already married. Somebody's putting in a lot of effort. Okay, we got true love very soon and forgiving and learning. So yeah, yeah, this person is feeling like, look, let's give this a shot. Let's give this a chance. There's some passion going on and somebody definitely does feel like, you know what? You could be the one. You could be the one very soon. Yeah, soulmate. Okay, so either they've already made the decision or they're making a decision that this person is their soulmate. Now we got forgiving and learning. Yeah, see somebody, there's a lot of deception going on and there could be trust issues. Okay, there's a lot of trust issues here because there is deception here. Someone could be a liar, a cheat, but I feel like this person turns around and forgives them frequently, okay, for their deception and lies. All right, so let's let's go to the tarot. Let's let's see what's what. Let's see what's what, and then we're gonna get on up out of here. All right, so that's crazy. Like how you you mean to tell me you feel like somebody's perfect for you because you lie and cheat and get away with sneaky shit and they always forgive you. So yeah, this is the person for me. <laughs> that is just so funny to me. Okay, so let's talk. Let's see where this is going to go. Show me what's going on between those two lovebirds. <laughs> Those two lovebirds. Let's see. Where is this headed? Where is it going to go? The bottom of the deck, five of cups. Knight of pentacles. I feel like... The Five of Cups is crying over spilled milk and regrets, okay? Knight of Pentacles, this could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see, let's go ahead and get the tea. All right, so we got the world. And the Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the Empress, Two of Cups, Will of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Wow. All right. So, Page of Wands, Five of Cups again. There's some regrets here. Somebody is greedy. We got the devil and the ace of pentacles. Could be a Capricorn or Virgo or Taurus, but definitely Capricorn with this devil card here. Somebody is greedy. Somebody is regretting asking. Like I said, I feel like there's gifts or money that could be involved. Um, tell me why the Five of Cups is, is here. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's some, some sneakiness going on. Somebody's regret. Telling lies. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords. Somebody's betraying somebody. Okay. But I feel like they always come back asking, can we just start over? Can we start over? Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my time this time and do it right. And I just get a sense of somebody's very forgiving um, of this person's deception and lies. Now the world card is here. Page of Wands. <laughs> Tell me how to page. Of, it's, I'm sorry. Page of Pentacles. King of Cups. 
The world card is closures. Okay, a cycle closing. King of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. But I feel like... I'm getting like somebody's riding something out. I'm getting it. Because I'm just getting somebody wanting to see. We got the sun and the strength card here. Leo could be involved. I'm getting like somebody's wanting to see what somebody's going to say. Okay. Nine of pentacles. Yes. Yeah, somebody is definitely... Definitely like being, um, somebody here could definitely be being bought, okay, paid for, because we got the five of pentacles here, which is about struggle and, you know, kind of like a hard time. So it's like somebody, somebody has a fallback on, somebody has somebody to fall back on. Like I said, I'm getting like somebody's a sugar mama or somebody is very well off financially. We got the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Three of Cups. There's a lot of celebrating and drinks and fun. I'm getting somebody waiting their turn. Somebody wait, waited. This person waited their turn. Somebody waited their turn. Yeah, this person had to compete and fight for a spot. Wow. Your person is just feeling like this is their chance. This was their chance. They got somebody who had some coin and maybe they were going through a tough spot financially. Yep, Knight of Wands. This is, this is, Knight of Wands is very, and then we got the Queen of Wands. Could be, like I said, could be dealing with the Leo. They could be dealing with the Leo. But I'm just getting like very childlike energy, player energy. Player energy, okay, like, I don't see the seriousness in this. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Ten of Swords. This is not being able to work something out, not being cooperative. Um, the Seven of Cups says the outcome, and the Five of Swords. This situation is extremely toxic, okay? This is a situation... This situation is full of confusion. It has confusion written all over it. Whew. Somebody is bringing up someone's past, like throwing their past up in their face. Um, and this causing a lot of confusion. So this person could be bringing you up in a situation. Um, this makes this person insecure because this person is definitely having to fight. They they had to fight for this relationship. And that's why when it said that there was an influencer, they're trying to get they were trying to get your person to come to their side and see their point of view. And it looks like your person went for it because they were providing for them. They had them feeling like the grass was greener. But I see a lot of confusion surrounding this situation. A lot of arguments. A lot of someone throwing up and bringing up the past a lot.
Hmm. I see that this situation could be really exciting, like fun. I'm getting that there's a lot of drinking, a lot of partying. Um, I, I just see like your person looking at this as, you know, their energy. I'm getting like they're enjoying the ride. They're enjoying the ride. We got the lovers, knight of wands, and the queen of wands. And this is going in the, in his favor, his or her favor, with the will of fortune. In. They're getting everything that they want. This is fun. They're enjoying the ride. Okay? They're enjoying the ride. Do I see real love here? No. But they're definitely enjoying the ride. For sure. Someone may need to get a divorce. We got the Ten of Swords and the Justice. Something's not balanced. The situation isn't. It's a karmic situation. Someone's waiting on someone to get them some type of sign. Or trying to get them to sign papers. The devil just jumped out. Could be a Capricorn. But the situation is toxic. Okay, the situation. This situation here is toxic. But, like I said, someone here is enjoying the ride. They're enjoying the ride. Will they end up regretting this situation and how they handled the situation? I'm getting a big yes. But let's pull the pendulum and see what the pendulum says, okay? Will this person have regrets? For how they handled my collective. Will this person have regrets? Got a big old fat yes. A big old fat yes. <laughs> Let's see what this person wants to say to you. I also want to say to my collective, I want to make this work. I'm sorry for what I said. So there's something, it looks like an apology could be coming from this person. They could be coming back around to apologize to you. My head isn't clear enough to make a decision. This person could also feel like you're too good for them. They may feel like they don't deserve you. Will you wait for me? This person wants you to wait. <laughs> this person wants you to wait. I feel like this is something like they wanted it to work, but they let other influencers come in and make decisions for them. So it's like they want you to wait until they get done doing what they're doing and then try to come back and apologize. So that's the message that I got for y'all. And if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up, comment below, share with your family and your friends. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, honey. All right, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.